here we are today at Mount Penn in Redding, Pennsylvania. This video was shot in early February, as you can see from the snowfall in the video. Mount Penn can best be described as a rocky downhill playground. There are tons of trails in intermixed on the mountain, and it's easy to get lost if you don't know where to go. There are a bunch of sections up to the mountain, and the best runs can be found near the A-Line Trail, which was closed when I rode this day. You can see it in some of my other videos from Mount Penn. It has flow, jumps, and berms. This is not like any other trail here. The usual trail has tons of rock, steep rocky descents, and a bunch of natural looking single track. This place does get confusing. To find the good downhill runs, you need to take the other trails to get there, which are a ton of connector trails. Tough climbs are here for you as it gets you to the top quicker, but you may see a lot of people shuttling this place on downhill bikes. I tried to ride a few trails I saw were popular downhill trails such as Blue Trail, Corkscrew S turns. This has a bunch of man-made berms throughout which was quite fun. I also rode a black trail called Dane's Trail, which starts out mellow, but then gets super rocky and steep. I had to walk a decent amount of it, but there's a beeline blue trail that goes alongside of it. I then proceeded down towards Antietam Reservoir via the Blue Trail, Wizard of Oz, which is more of an XC flowy tight single track trail, which is pretty fun. From here, I made my way from this low point all the way back up to the A-Line section via the Green Tower Trail. This puts me out around the start of many of the downhill trails.
took the green connector trail down to Beeline, and then ultimately ended up at the Bowl, which is a fun little free ride section that I did not include in the video. I do not have the jumping skills to do it justice. I rode a mix of the black trails that run through this section, even though the weather was not the best. This is where I saw most of the riders, so I assume this is the place to be and ride. After that, I decided to return to the Bomba lot, where I parked, which is very centrally located on the mountain. Overall, this is a great place to come and ride. I do not know how well it can be scaled for beginner riders, and it has tons of rock and steep stuff. I also didn't even scratch the surface of the trails available here. Next time, I'll need a guide to show me everything. So if you know any trails that would be good for beginners, just getting into the sport, or anything that I missed at all, please let me know. And with that, I'll end for today. Thanks for watching my little ride at Mount Penn, and come back next time for another interesting video. Thanks for watching.